we're going to take a look at the Technics SLQX200 turntable. That's a direct drive quartz automatic turntable, a 1984 model. And uh, I'll mention that uh, you want to make certain that you don't get this model confused with the SLQ200. Uh, this model has numerous features uh, that the Q200 does not have. Uh, this is a far superior unit to that model. Uh, this one has an aluminum deck. Uh, it has a uh, pitch control. As you can see here, it has a strobe. It has uh, anti-skating uh, adjustments on it that the Q200 does not have. So, so don't confuse these two models. And I'll, I'll uh, give a little bit more detail and specifics on that on the listing, but just wanted to mention that right up front. This is, uh, this is a pretty rare unit, actually, uh, and you'll see the SLQ200s uh, rather, rather commonly, uh, but that has a plastic deck and just uh, it is nowhere near the, the, the quality of a unit as this. So wanted to mention that up front as well. If you're looking at this video, you're probably already well aware of that. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and power this on and lift the lift the uh, dust cover you'll see that there is a crack here at the back near the left hinge I think you can definitely get a good look at that uh, there is a crack back there but uh, you know fully functional doesn't uh, prevent the, the operation of the of the uh, dust cover and uh, this this unit's just been professionally serviced and also has a brand new cartridge on it it's the Audio Technica AT90 I uh, just placed that on there today. So this unit is just uh, looking good and, and just operating beautifully. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Now that we've got it powered on, let's go ahead and cue it up. Uh, they call this an automatic turntable, but it's actually semi-automatic because you do have to push the tone arm over to the, to the record manually. It does not have a man, uh, an, an auto start. So we'll go ahead and take the, take the tone arm over slide this cueing button back over to the down position and let's give her a listen. Um, I do have this connected right now to kind of a newer generation receiver uh, which does not have the balance left and right knob like the older units had and I like on these videos to be able to show you left channel and right channel so you can see that they're both very clearly working Unfortunately, we can't do that now, but uh, definitely both channels playing clear and crisp. As I say, uh, recently, recently uh, serviced, fully professionally serviced, and a brand new cartridge. So we're sounding good here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead right now and slide this on over towards the end of the record so that we can kind of see how the uh, cycle ends here and such. You'll see that it is an auto uh, complete. So let's go ahead and cue this back up. And now we'll slide her on over kind of towards the end of the album here and then drop it back down and and uh, watch it watch it complete the cycle. So we'll drop the cueing back down. Listen to the rest of this Sammy Hagar here while we're looking just just uh, a bit more at the, the features. Uh, I will have uh, photos of this so you can get a better look at the the cosmetic condition of the unit. Uh, really no major scuffs or flaws on this. Uh, you can see it's got the quartz uh, uh, emblem here on the front and that's uh, you know that's that's got a couple little little dings on it. Nothing nothing hugely significant just kinda normal wear uh, but as I say the the photos on the listing will, will, will definitely be a better indicator of, of that the exact cosmetic condition. Uh, but everything working fine on it. It does have the uh, 45 RPM spindle over there as well as you can see back here in the corner. Uh, it's got the 33 and 45 uh, speed buttons there. Um, we might, uh, uh, it's got a reset button for the uh, uh, pitch as well. And we'll take a look here at the strobe. I think you can see that that strobe is, is indicating that the pitch is, is just flat out perfect right on the button. Um, we can show you what that'll do here, the, the pitch button or, or, or slide.
you can kind of see what what's happening there. Definitely tell the, the speed change in there with the as we uh, use that pitch control. But but as I say, when you center that at zero, uh, it's just right on the right on the mark there, as the strobe indicates. So uh, working well there. Everything looking good and sounding good. Um, we'll just give it another uh, half a minute here or less, 20 seconds, to show that the uh, the complete uh, that the cycle completes and the tone arm returns to the tone arm rest and such as the album ends. But uh, pretty much there you have it. Beautiful unit working just just uh, smooth as silk. And uh, as I say, we'll see how the how the end cycle works here in just a moment. Kind of get some different views here of the, of the unit while we're waiting on the album to end. Now I've got the, the uh, cell phone right by the left speaker, so probably a little loud there for a second. All right, let's watch the, uh, the completion of the cycle, and then we'll shut her down here in just a moment. And there we go. Uh, everything working perfectly. Tone arm picks up. Drops back down. Boom, we'll put the tone arm clip back on. It's intact. And we'll power it off. And that's it. That's the Technics SL QX200 turntable. Thanks for watching.